Hey, welcome to homebrewpirates.co.uk. Today we're going to go through a Pilsner. It comes from Wilco. Uh, we'll have a look through what comes with the kit, uh, what we have to purchase in the extra, and what you'll need to produce the beer. And um, yeah, so let's so, do this. What do you get? Um, you, this is the kit that you can purchase, um, and that comes with some uh, yeast and um, the uh, some instructions. And then it claims that you need a kilo of either brew enhancer or just sugar. Now I've read some reviews on this and people generally recommend that you use a kilo of brew enhancer and actually add an extra 500 grams of just brewing sugar. Um, so I'm going to give that a go um, on this attempt. Now first things first, it says the instructions say you need to just warm this up in a warm pan for 10 minutes. So I'll let that warm up and I'll be back with you. Once the tin's warming up, let's just run through the equipment that you're going to need. Now, it's dead simple. Yeah, you hardly need anything, which is great. So, first off, most importantly, is your brewing barrel. Um, so that's obviously where it's going to be stored. Um, inside, I've got a spoon, which it doesn't live in there. It's just the fact I've got a sterile and in the barrel sterile, so we'll there until we need it. Um, obviously, the lid with a airlock. Um, a hydrometer, um, a beer thief, and a tube just to put the sample of beer in so you can you know, take a reading. And that is it. So, um, yeah, tin's you know, pretty much done, so I'm going to crank that open and I'll be back with you. So, the, um, the tin's finished heating up, so it's just a case of uh, pouring this into the barrel. This looks like treacle, so it can take a a little bit to run in. I'm getting everywhere now. I've emptied the can in. Now there's a little bit left in the bottom. So rather than wait for ages for it to dribble out, I've actually added just some boiling water to the bottom of the tin. It's giving it a good swirl around. Obviously that gets the last little bit in. Right, now this, what it says to do next is go ahead and add 3.5 litres or 6 pints of hot water into the brewing barrel, uh, boiling water even. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll add the sugars. Um, so yeah, back in a moment. So I've gone, gone ahead and added the um, hot water or boiling water even. So now it's time to add the sugars. So first in we'll put the... Uh, Beer enhancer. Get that all in. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add this um, kilo of brewing malt, and also I've pre prepped uh, 500 grams of brewing sugar. And I'm just going to add them to the barrel and give it a good stir, so you're going to watch me pour the sugar in tediously so back in a moment so we've added in that just adding the sugar in so cut a whole bit bigger on this one that's that all in okay now let's just give it a jolly good old stir so now it says we need to fill it up just turn the barrel around um, fill it up to the 23 litres mark with cold water. So we get that done, and then we'll get add in the yeast, and um, we'll take a reading to see uh, from the hydrometer um, before we screw the lid on. So um, yeah, stick with it. I've gone ahead and filled it to the 23 litre mark. So now I'm going to take a sample um, from the barrel just to gauge what the content might, what the sugar content is. Put a squirt that in there. Need another one. Should do it. I right, take the hydrometer in, so just pop that in. Doesn't matter if it goes over a bit. All right, so let's have a look. There we go. There we go. Okay. 
so that is hovering just on the start beer mark so around 40 on your hydrometer see the big red one which is excellent okay so now happy with that happy with that I right now I'm going to add the yeast so give that a good sprinkle that in okay and give it one last good stir that yeast all mixed in Time to grab the lid and seal her up, and then we'll see it in a week. Um, so, so I've filled the air trap up with a bit of water, so that should hopefully start bubbling within 24 hours. And the guide reckons it can take four to six days to complete the fermentation. So we'll check back next week, and we'll go through um, bottling up this beer. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you then.